The journey we're on, it's all about stretching and understanding that we are capable of much more than we think we are, okay? And sometimes the limitations and the beliefs that we have on ourselves, that we put on ourselves, is our biggest ob obstacle. I'd right, say so camps like this, the journey we've just been on, okay, as a group, are uh, little bits of evidence that we need to give us confidence so that when we ask for a special effort, when you guys need it out on the, out on the it might be a last quarter, might be a big last half, you know, you guys know that you're capable of more than maybe you're telling yourself. Yeah, well, we um, probably thought, you know, kind of towards the end of last year that there might be a good opportunity to get away as a group, as a, um, you know, we just took away the, um, all the players and a bit of a skeleton staff in terms of coaches and support staff. And really, we just wanted an opportunity to break up the pre-season, um, first and foremost, um, but also to just get the players out in a different environment and have a pretty physically demanding um, into a, a block of training before we went into a, a five day break. So, I think camp's awesome, just a great opportunity to hang out with the boys sort of post training and um, kicking around the dorm rooms and things like that and get to know guys a bit better. And um, But I guess what I want to see is guys just willing to have a crack. You, know, you see guys' natural competitiveness come out as well when there's this team environment. You want to get the points for your, for your sides and um, that's been outstanding and celebrating those little wins along the way. So uh, that's been good. The boys got a heap of work in. Monday was a really solid session. We arrived pretty early up in Mount Macedon and to be able to get in you know, 16K plus session, um, predominantly footy, which was really important for the time of the year we were at, um, but also to get in you know, some really good conditioning. We got some good hills in there and um, good volume in and amongst the program, but the quality was up, um, which is really good. It was tough, bloody tough actually. We um, had a belter session. It was equivalent to game type scenario where we had plenty of match play and K's in the legs. So. Um, very sort of trying session. Guys gritted through really, really well and attacked it so well. I was really impressed by the attitude of the boys and um, just helping get each other through. Thanks for coming, Eddie. Okay, looking forward to it. Should be a really uh, good couple of days. Some physical, hard physical work. Good opportunities to connect and bond and um, keep growing, yeah? Not, things aren't going to be perfect. We don't have the net as high as possible, okay? So we're going to have staff. Everyone's going to be rallying around to make sure the session flows best we can, but might need a little bit of patience. Might get a okay, couple of kangaroos or something like that. Right, so that's okay. We're going to work through that. Okay, let's go. We were always due to have a big session on that day and, and thought it was, um, you know, we had, there was fantastic facilities out there and we were, we were really pleased that you know, the Macedon Football Club were able to give us um, access to the ground because it was in fantastic condition and, and to be able to get out there again it was, it was largely um, about just changing up the environment for the guys. I think, you know, knowing to prepare ourselves for a really solid training session that morning. Boys were prepped and ready for that. We were able to yeah, complete everything we needed to out there and um, that was a nice way to start the camp and yeah, get the boys pretty tired for the rest of it. And then we moved our camp out to Camp Aspey Downs, which is, um, I actually got that, uh, my son went to a school camp there. So that was how I 
how I got the location and we checked it out prior to Christmas and looked like it was gonna meet our needs and um, got out there and we did some a bit more fun activities. We had some raft building, some canoeing, and we were able to kind of create some create a bit of fun but also some challenging um, some challenging exercises for the girls as well. I think you just go barrels on the bottom obviously. Yeah. And then wood across the top, lash it off. Yeah, it was a bit of fun as well as teamwork and trying to work together and guys trying to capsize each other's canoes and things like that. But uh, no, look, the, the raft building was a real collaborative one. As a, as a group, as a collective, you could come up with five questions that you could ask um, one of the guys there that knew what they were doing, um, that were running the show. Um, that was interesting, some of the, what some of the points that boys were throwing up and um, guys had their own ideas in their head of what it might look like, but then trying to communicate that really clearly and precise is the key to it. Based off what you've seen here, what are your next five steps? <laughs> Yeah, I think that ties in really well to, to footy as well. You've got all these ideas in your head on how you think the game might play out or a certain position or play that you want to make. Um, and to be able to communicate that really precisely, help get someone set up really well or whatever it may be, correct structures, game plan, is the key to it all. So yeah, it tied in really nicely. That it was, a, it was a fun experience too. Like Some of the roughs were putrid, but in the end, it was all about that communi communication and collaboration to get the job done. And then that Monday night, we actually, um, you know, under 35 degrees heat, you know, didn't actually get any cooler. It was, you know, pretty stifling to be camping out. You know, essentially they were, you know, no air con, no sort of cooling system. So they didn't get much sleep over that night, some of them. Um, we then got them up really early on, on Tuesday morning, um, just to challenge them a little bit more. We got a little circuit in, a bit of boxing, um, and that, you know, just to wake their bodies up and, and got them going. The footy stuff, yeah, we can, we can um, be pretty prescriptive with that in terms of understanding how much we're gonna be able to stretch them. But when we went on to camp, we had um, a few exercises, as I mentioned, the, the canoeing and raft building, but we also had some, some rock climbing and, and laser tag um, on the Tuesday morning, which is a bit bit hard to predict how difficult that's gonna be, but certainly, especially with the rock climbing, it was some, yeah, we were able to you know work with the campsite coordinators to make it challenging and making sure that there was some you know some group dynamics and some team building type exercises within those within those activities. That's cash! Oh! Yeah, you know, we had lads that, you know, a few might be scared of heights and we had rock climbing and abseiling and things like that and they just had a dip and boys supporting them around it and just, you know, helping them through and encouraging them to have a crack no matter what. So, um, you know, some, some huge mental grit from a lot of boys. Um, the bike ride at the, uh, the back end of camp was um, bloody tough for a, lot of the, for a lot of the fellas. We finished off with a 40k bike ride up Mount Macedon, so predominantly, you know, 20 k's of that was up, uphill um, and that really tested the boys. Important that we stick together. You're gonna, all going to have a bus with the hazards on that's going to be behind you so the people driving will know there's something coming up. The other thing is it's a team ride, okay? So it's your last person who gets to the finish line and where your uh, time will be done. So working the, as a team, the best you know how to do that, uh, and we get the best results. Okay, we're ready, Don. Some of the guys who have done a bit of riding before um, kind of were able to do the bike ride and find it challenging but enjoyed it. There were some players that less familiar with the bike that uh, found it a bit more challenging and didn't quite enjoy it as much. But I think it was good. I think we found a nice balance between having some fun, some group dynamics, some team building, um, but also some, some pretty strong physical work as well. The bike ride at the, uh, the back end of camp was um bloody tough for a lot of the a lot of the fellas but we saw guys that were quite good on the bike dropping back to help them out to pull them along and um, do water runs and helping blokes out so um, that's sort of what you want to see helping guys helping each other through 
probably took a few boys out of their comfort zone. Some obviously haven't been on a bike for a long time. Um, I rode with Draper and his group, and obviously some of those bigger boys that don't ride very often um, found it a bit more challenging. So the first half hour was about just you know working out how to use the gears again, and and sort of uh, that was a good little block for about a half hour before they actually hit the hills. Um, but again, they just found a way, which is really important um, on these sorts of camps. Really uh, pleased and wrapped with the attitude and the uh, resilience that we showed throughout the camp. Okay, obviously it wasn't easy. Okay, the footy session yesterday, some different activities throughout the last sort of 24 hours, then to finish with that bike ride. I think for us as a as a playing group and continually looking to stretch ourselves and expand and grow and transform into the team we need to be. Okay, this is going to be one of those moments where there's all sorts of times where I know you're talking to yourself and where your head goes, but to bring yourself back, to continue to keep going. The resilience shown, I think the teamwork, the camaraderie that we built over these, um, these sorts of camps, okay, is going to be really important for us. Great work, boys! Great work, lads. That's awesome. everyone. Top job. Yeah, from a resilience point of view, it, you know, it was one of those camps where you did have to find a yard somewhere and I think that was a huge thing that came from it, was knowing that you've got more in the tank when you think you're absolutely spent. And when you've got guys around you that are doing the same thing, it helps bear it on and you can find a yard when you don't think you have it. So that was awesome. I think a, a huge taking from the camp. Yeah, boys. Yeah. And that's always part of the part of the idea with the camps is to get the guys out of their comfort zone. I think that was um, you know, you'd be able to stretch and grow and, and actually work within you know a different environment. I think adds a bit of a different element for us. We're just in this really nice bracket at the moment. We've got a a group of extremely passionate young boys that are just ready to attack everything, and um, I'm just loving the development that I'm seeing from day to day. The progress that we're we're noticing through our training, and um, I think guys are really starting to grasp our game plan and come out of themselves to help teach others. So um, I think that just the growth as a collective is something that I've I've just loved seeing, and hopefully continue to see that. Yeah, I think overall the camp was was successful in terms of in, in terms of that respect. We got a lot of um, physical work into them. The guys have had some teams competition throughout the pre season so it was a good opportunity to um, some teams to bolster their points tally but uh, others um, fell a bit further behind so um, it wasn't always a, a success for them but um, yeah I think the, the camp was was really well executed and um, yeah it was we're away for a couple of a couple of one night a couple of days but it was a nice way to finish off a, a pretty solid block of training.